Hello everyone. Uh, this time around I want to talk about something that's uh, basically current events in Calgary. And that's the uh, recent approval of construction for a portion of the Green Line LRT project. Now for those of you that aren't aware, uh, the Green Line project in Calgary is, uh, that's the name for this uh, new LRT line that's going to go from uh, basically, uh, ultimately from North Central Calgary at North Point Station all the way down to uh, Southeast Calgary in Seton, I believe. And it's going to go through downtown Calgary. It's going to have to get over the Bow River and the Elbow River and, and uh, the CP tracks and, and a whole bunch of other things like that. And it's going to replace, essentially, uh, some very congested bus routes along the Center Street uh, and Harvest Hills in the north and uh, whatever the uh, bus routes are that go out into the southeast. Uh, I live in the north part. Uh, I'm actually in the catchment area for this green line when it's uh, finally built. Uh, so I've been following it with some interest for a number of years. and. Uh, for the most part, the project's been moving along the uh, consultation phase and de basic design phase and so on has been moving along fairly nicely. Uh, they've got some uh, pretty decent uh, plans going and they've uh, uh, they've been listening to feedback as well because uh, the first consultations I was at, they were still trying to pick a route for the north leg and the uh, they had three options, uh, two of which were stupid. Uh, one of which was pre-approved uh, from decades before. When uh, they had good information, uh, uh, is the the one that they ultimately settled on, and uh, uh, the right one, in my opinion, was coming up Center Street, which would substantially renovate Center Street because it would go up the street and it would cut the num the amount of traffic surface. But they, they explained in uh, pretty good detail on why this wouldn't make congestion necessarily worse. And uh, to, you know, for uh, reference, much of Center Street is a four-lane uh, two-way traffic with uh, a single uh, line, you know, like a center line, and no left turn bays. Uh, with uh, a portion of it having reversing lanes during peak times. Uh, but that lack of left turn bays makes all the difference in the traffic congestion. If you were to uh, have left turn bays at every intersection where left turns were permitted, you could actually substantially reduce the congestion, even if you only have one through lane. Uh, and that's not taking into account the fact that when you build the LRT up there, you're going to take uh, quite a huge amount of uh, traffic volume off the road because the buses take up a lot of road space. Uh, and I expect similar things will happen down in the southeast. I haven't been following the exact uh, design uh, discussions in the southeast because it doesn't affect me uh, directly. Uh, and that's not to say that the Southeast people don't matter. Uh, they are the ones that need to have the input in the Southeast part, and they're the ones that are providing the input. This is fair. I don't expect them to care all that much about how the North part of it is designed. Now, this project has gone pretty well uh, so far. The consultation has been pretty good and the information has been available. And they've actually listened to feedback because there was a lot of feedback about the downtown portion. They were originally talking about putting it over ground for a lot of that. And a lot of people looked at it and thought, well, that's not going to work. Uh, how are you going to build that even? And they went and they looked at it, and uh, uh, even the city councillors uh, looked at it and thought, well, what, uh, what makes sense there? Does it make sense to put it underground now? And we do have a precedent for wanting to do it first as opposed to later. And that is the 
the uh, one of the uh, lines going along on Seventh Avenue was uh, planned to be put underground for traffic volume reasons and uh, that hasn't happened because it's so expensive to do that and uh, it's something that really should happen and will have to happen at some point because Seventh Avenue is full and, and you got two LRT lines meshing there so it reduces the overall volume you can put on either of those LRT lines and and also if you're going over ground you have to deal with the cross traffic and all of that and and that was a, a big a big factor so they they've actually decided that it's going to be basically underground through downtown and as I understand they're going to tunnel it from about 16th Avenue down and then come over the river somehow and underground through downtown and I believe this uh, avoids a lot of obstacles so uh, it uh, it probably makes a great deal of sense to do it that way and that was my uh, my thought uh, you know I thought that was the way it should go uh, even though it's substantially more expensive to do it that way now uh, there's been all of the talk about it so far has been talking about it as a project as a whole and that's fine and that's how you have to do your your work on the overall design of it you have to discuss it as a project as a whole now the uh, the city council has come along just recently this past week or so and approved construction funding contingent of the line from 16th Avenue to uh, where was it uh, Shepherd I think is what they they said uh, and that's what about a third of the line uh, from because you know, it uh, the vast majority of the north leg is not included in that and a fair chunk of the southeast leg is not included in that as well so we'll call it a third of the line and this is going to cost uh, however many billions of dollars would be you know because of the tunneling and so on which is going to be uh, roughly the same budget as the original projected budget for the entire project now this project has been muddling around for a lot of years in the development and design phase so any estimate made say 10 years ago is obviously going to be low there's been inflation in that length of time and the project has changed a bit from the initial estimates including a substantial below grade component downtown and that will have substantially increased the costs uh, so they've they've approved fund, contingent upon funding this construction of, of this central portion of it which gets actually through probably the worst of the geography for constructing such a line uh, you know it gets you out of the river valley on both sides uh, like the worst of the river valley at the very least on the north side it gets you up the uh, massive uh, em embankment that uh, is the north side of the bow river valley there uh, and that is a very substantial embankment it's uh it's something like a hundred meters high and uh, it's definitely a problem uh, you know to get uh, you, know, you can't have too high of a grade for your train right so uh, what but basically they they've come they've approved this chunk of it now uh, there's been a lot of whining and wailing this this past week about how well this is obviously uh, being disrespectful to the people up in the north and the deep southeast because this is we're only going to build a portion of it uh, really this is disrespectful I, I don't I don't see how building a portion of it now somehow precludes building the the rest of it later uh, and an, an important point too is during the discussions on this this was always going to be a 20 to 50 year horizon project because of the cost they were never saying oh yeah we're gonna build it in you know it, it, we're gonna get shovels in the ground in 2017 and we'll have it complete in 2025 or 2028 or something like that no they've not been saying that 
Uh, sure, there's been some uh, developments where they want to get things moving sooner. And, of course, that's laudable. Uh, there is definitely need to get it built. But it's expensive. Now, uh, somehow, the commentators that, that have been given the, uh, the megaphones have uh, got in their heads that somehow if we build from 16th Avenue to Shepherd, somehow that's it and there's nothing else ever going to be built. You know, that's the narrative they're trying to peddle. Whereas what's actually being said is we need to get this part of it built uh, before the cost of it goes up even more, uh, basically is, the, uh, is what they're saying. They want to get this underway. And they also want to, uh, they want to get the project moving without delaying it further, uh, the, the whole thing further, because apparently there's some additional uh, hurdles uh, in the more outlying areas. Uh, apparently there's some land acquisition stuff that needs to be sorted out still, and a few other things that would delay shovels in the ground even longer. So uh, they've also said that... Uh, if we can get this funded and built, uh, we can be working on finding uh, funding and so on for additional parts of it that we can start working on uh, uh, immediately after this chunk is built. So, well, this was always going to be a very long project to build it, right? So, sure, funding part of it now and building part of it now well, that, that means that the people further out aren't going to benefit as much from it as they would if the whole thing was built. But it also means that something is built. And in this case, the hardest part of it gets built. And then they can uh, uh, build the rest of it, like the core of it's there. And then as funding becomes available, then additional chunks, if necessary, station by station, can be added on to the north or to the southeast, you know, as funding becomes available. You don't have to build everything all at once. Uh, now, here's the, the other thing. Uh, even just building up to 16th Avenue will make a big difference to those of us in the north because it means that a fair chunk of uh, traffic that's currently riding the buses that come all the way up to North Point uh, or Beddington come up the, up this far, a fair chunk of it gets on downtown and gets off in that first mile or so. Uh, and a fair chunk of uh, traffic trying to get on, going into downtown, gets on in that last mile or so. So it's going to reduce some level of crowding. It also means that there can be potentially fewer buses running all the way up the line. You can... Uh, you can change the uh, mainline buses a little bit to connect with the, the LRT line at 16th Avenue, say. And then you can run heavy, you know, more buses uh, you know, from that, the terminus there at 16th Avenue up and let the LRT do the heavy lifting to get the people in and out of the really congested downtown core. Uh, Yes, I mean, quite frankly, uh, Center Street north of 16th Avenue can handle a lot more traffic, uh, you know, than uh, Center Street right in downtown, because you have uh, f less cross traffic getting in the way. So, uh, realistically, if we can get all of that straightened out, it will still help. And it will almost certainly help the people in the southeast as well because they'll be able to connect to a train and that'll take them through the, uh, the, the really bad parts of the road network coming into downtown. And those bad parts are bad partly due to geography. So re realistically, I think what, the, what City Council has chosen to do is the right thing. Uh, we're we're going to get something underway Again, assuming financing, but we'll get something underway and 
then in four or five years when that is getting ready to open, maybe we'll have us have the funding available for additional extensions to be constructed and, and then it can expand outward. Now, here's the thing. Assuming funding doesn't dry up and assuming it, it continues at a fairly steady pace, by the original time horizon uh, window that the project was pitching years ago when I first became aware of it, by the time that time window expires, we'll have the project built. All because we started it and got the core of it there so then it becomes possible to add additional uh, extensions afterward. Uh, but we get the really nasty, expensive part out of the way. Anyway, uh, that's really my thoughts on that. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the public transportation uh, because it's go it is the future. It is how we're going to end up making cities more sustainable uh, and have less of a, a, a detrimental uh, environmental footprint, and that is with this public transportation. And electric trains are probably the best way to do it because we can generate electricity from just about anything, uh, including relatively pollution-free uh, sources like nuclear. And yes, I am saying that nuclear is relatively pollution-free because it is. With a proper reactor, you get very little actual waste that has to uh, decay. Uh, and it's it pretty easy to store a relatively small amount of radioactive waste until it's safe. It is, re it is pretty easy to store a relatively small amount of stuff. And we end up with, without the greenhouse gas emissions and so on that are so problematic. We and don't end up with the particulates and so on in the air. So, yes, I, I did say nuclear is a good option. But anyway, that's an aside. Uh, I'm really hoping that the funding does materialize for this central portion of the green line. Because it gives us, well, we need the project. It, it definitely it would be a good project to have done. And it's, it gives us something to hang additional extensions off of. And it will reduce the uh, traffic load of buses that have to connect into the downtown core. They'll be able to connect a little further out. And that will almost certainly improve traffic all around the downtown core. Anyway, uh, that's enough on, on this topic. I've basically said my piece, so uh, I'll leave it here. If you liked the video or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike. I won't be bothered either way. I don't measure my self-worth based on YouTube likes. Uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.